The show itself is around the theme of levitation, and I'm interested in levitation as a concept or a metaphor. Um, levitation can mean many things. It means like freedom, it can mean transcendence, the rejection of geographical boundary or the rejection of gravity, or even um, humans' aspiration to take risks in order to achieve the impossible, even knowing that the chance of success is very slim. And I want to actually talk about the centerpiece of the exhibition before I give you a tour, uh, because a lot of the elements from the film you will see in other sections in the exhibition. Mm. So the film is a speculative fiction. It's also a documentary of the life of Lauren O oh and her involvement with an activist group called Laden Raven. So Lauren O oh believes she can levitate and, um, and she was involved with this activist group which was initiated by a tightrope walker in the 1930s. The founding members were uh, circus performers and hence you see a lot of circus elements in the, in the exhibition. Um, so Layden Raven became heavily involved uh, in the 1960s in the United States during the anti-war movement. In the end, uh, all the protest movement in the United States were very heavily suppressed and members of Layden Raven were arrested and locked up in a sensory deprivation cell. So the film ends with me in a performance uh, in which I was hoisted up, I was lifted up five meters from the ground and I slowly turned into a disco ball. I like the transition between the documentary part and the performance scene because it's like jumping from one reality to another. It's like when you jolt awake from a bad dream. So you can go from Lauren O's reality to the personal world of Angela Sue. And I really like that kind of transition. And that's why I think it's important for me to perform in the film. I was trying to figure out some, some answers to, to certain questions in life. So I think it's very important to present this kind, these solutions in the performance. And that's why I think I should perform in the video. I'm always interested in the, in the 60s with the flower power, the hippie, the counterculture movement. And then when I was doing research, I came across a really interesting happening. So it was during the anti-war movement. So, uh, Around 50,000 protesters marched to the Pentagon and tried to levitate the building. So the action is sort of like exercising the demon out from the building. And the action for me is very powerful because it um, demystified the, the authority of the military. We all know that it's not going to levitate, but the building actually levitated in the minds of the protesters. So for me, this is very powerful. So um, from the very beginning, I wanted to include this element in the film and that's why I started to research around the, the theme of levitation. When you enter the pavilion, you see a giant swing, uh, which is around 4.5 meters high, and there's an unreachable seat. It's like a trapeze, it's also a swing. And you can also see a circus ring here with hovering modules, these triangular modules and you can see the theme of um, levitation coming through already in the courtyard. And there's also a big row of circus posters behind me. The title of this installation is called The Playscape for the Feathered Girl. So the idea is about the rejection of work and progress um, in the capitalist society. And it's like the idea of uh, play and freedom and having joy. Um, as sort of a disruption of monotony of work. So after the courtyard, you enter into the interior of the pavilion. So in the first room, you will see um, an installation of 15 videos, and they are arranged in three boxes, horizontal long boxes, five videos in a group. And these videos are found footages, or very old footages, of trapeze performers, of tightrope walkers, and also dancers. And the title of this installation is called Tiptoeing the Carmen Line. The Carmen Line is actually an imaginary line in between Earth's atmosphere and the outer space. So this line never existed. I mean, it's just imaginary. 
So walking on this line means that you have to constantly guess where the line is. And it's also like a balancing act. The tightrope walker has to decide what is dangerous and what is safe. It's also about taking risk. So the first room is about the mental risk one has to go through in order to levitate. So from there, you go through um, a, a red PVC curtain into the second room. And the second room is mainly drawings and embroideries, and there's also a video of a performance, of a very short performance. And this room is mainly about the monstrosity of metamorphosis and also the physical risk of transformation. So when you enter the room, you see a giant embroidered raven on your right side, and on the left side is a double-layered drawing of a piece called Rochage Test Number no. 3. So my 2D work are mainly medical drawings or scientific drawings. And the way we presented these work is to wrap a curtain around the room. My works or my drawings or embroideries are very clinical and clean. They are like medical drawings, very old medical drawings such as Leonardo da Vinci's drawing or Andreas Vesalius' drawings. So I need a very clean space to present these works. The red fabric sort of evoke the idea like a classical period and the idea of the fabric also reminds one of a circus tent. So that's how this room is set up. And then through another PVC curtain, you go into the third room where you see the video that I just mentioned. The way we fabricated the room is that we lined the walls up with acoustic foam and they're like big pyramidal foam that are 30 centimeters in height. The installation of this room is actually an extension of the performance piece you see in the end of the video. Because in the end, a set was built that references an anechoic chamber. So that's why we use acoustic foam to rebuild the anechoic chamber in the physical space in Venice. There are also two concrete benches, which is like very heavy and they actually they're anchored on the floor. So you can see in the exhibition, there's a juxtaposition between lightness and heaviness. You have a lot of the works, the drawings, the embroideries, and the 15 videos suspended from the ceiling. And you also have very heavy structures like these you see here, um, cast cement, concrete, that are heavy on the floor. So and when you exit, um, you come into the fourth room in which you'll see a huge disco ball. It's like one meter in diameter. So it's sort of like, uh, having another element that echoes what you see in the film. It's an iconic symbol of entertainment and dance and, and freedom, but you can imagine the dancers um, gravitate or levitate or dance towards this, this disco ball. So it's sort of like a symbol of collectivity or the collective energy of millions of people. And on that note, you exit and enter into the courtyard again where people can sit and relax and enjoy the sunshine.